Hello, it's Laura Davalo here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this fun interactive double slider card featuring the joyful giraffe dynamics. When the pull tab is pulled, the animal stretches its neck a couple of inches and some cute enamel hearts are revealed. Okay, let's start by assembling the giraffe, which I die cut out of Kraft, milk chocolate, black licorice and cotton candy cardstock. It's very easy to do, here I'm just adding the final touches to the head. The set includes a couple of nostrils, which you can cut out of dark cardstock, but I just colored the area under the snout with a dark grey marker. Next, we can add some shading with craft colored premium dye ink. This is totally optional, but I think it looks good. I die cut all of my elements out of cardstock backed with sticky adhesive, so now I just peel off the backing and adhere the snout into its place. The Joyful Giraffe Dynamic set includes a short neck, and for this card we need it to be extra long, so I use the pull tab from the Slimline Starter Dynamics, which is a whopping 7 and 3 quarters long, to die cut two pieces, which I'm stacking with some glue. One of them is shorter simply because I used up some scraps. It doesn't matter since I'm going to trim one and a half inches off the length anyway. We can get rid of any paper burr with a nail file and add some shading to the neck before adhering the brown spots to it. But first, let me attach the head to it. We could probably get away with using a regular sized pull tab for the neck if we adhered it more to the edge of the head, but I like knowing that it won't come off no matter how hard we pull. Before trimming the spots with my scissors, let me just rub them with a bone folder to make the adhesive permanent. I noticed that the horns were kind of weak, so I added glossy accents to the back of them. This is a great tip for any kind of flimsy accents or embellishments as well. Now that our giraffe is ready, we need to create some greenery to hide part of the neck. This improvised tree top ended up being 4 inches tall, but it doesn't have to be exact. I used the die from the interactive swing dynamics for this and already cut it out of sour apple cardstock. Now I'm going to cut it out of tropical teal and since we're going to flip it, we need the back to be as smooth as possible. So I'm placing a piece of acetate under the cardstock. I'm also doing some partial die cutting to make this element taller. And here's the result. I'm not sure if you're able to see how smooth the back or the new front is. Next I trimmed both pieces with the stitched rectangle die from the Slimline Starter Dynamics. Off camera I then inked and assembled all of the greenery onto a third, partly hand cut piece. You can see it already die cut there in the background to the left. I did this so I could add thin foam squares under the cloud shaped parts to make them stand out. I also added a black fishtail banner with a heat embossed sentiment from the giraffe greeting stamp set. Okay, let's move on to the card panel. I already die cut it out of summer splash cardstock with the before mentioned die. Now I'm trying to figure out where to place the double slider mechanism die from the same set. It cuts two parallel slots, six and a half inches from each other, which is too far for us. We're going to have to do some partial die cutting to shorten this distance and be able to hide the mechanism under the giraffe's head. The upper slot will be located about four inches from the upper edge, so I'm adhering my die to that marking and when I run it through my die cutting machine, I'm not going to roll it all the way through. Just enough to cut that slot and then I'm going to reverse and back out of my die cutting machine. Now let's carefully peel off the tape, push the die upwards and tape it in place again to die cut only the lower slot. Okay, this looks perfect. If you don't have this die, you can of course use a craft knife to cut the two slots. After erasing all of the pencil marks, we can move on to the final assembly. Here you can see all of the elements that we'll need. A 7 by 8.5 inch white card base, our panel, 
a pull tab, I'm going to stack three of them to make it extra sturdy, although two would have been enough. I've already stamped the word pull from the interactive label stamp set on one of them. We will also need a 13 inch long strip of cellophane, which is about 9 sixteenths of an inch wide. Our greenery panel, of course, to cover the mechanism. And you can also use some die cut leaves to embellish it. These are from the Falling Leaves Dynamics, which I love. Last but not least, we of course need our long necked giraffe. Okay, I'm gonna start by adhering the cellophane strip in its place. I'm inserting the edge with the strip of score tape through the upper slot and then in through the lower slot to come back to the front of the panel. I'm gonna leave this edge piece down here because it'll move upwards when the pull tab is pulled downwards. It'll make sense in a moment. The cellophane strip needs to be tight, but not too tight so that it bends the panel. This one is moving nicely, so let me trim off the extra and we're done. Now we can rub a bone folder over the tape to make sure that it's firmly adhered. The slimline starter set doesn't include a die to cut a sleeve or color piece to keep the pull tab going straight. I just improvised it out of a strip of cardstock that was laying around. I wrapped it around the pull tab and sealed it with some thin score tape. Then I adhered it to the center of the lower edge on the back of my panel with some more score tape. Remember that the word pull has to be visible from the front. Okay, there we go. Now we can add some tape to the cellophane to adhere the pull tab in its place. It's better to start off with a small piece because we can add more if we need to later. As you can see, the slimline envelopes are big enough for this card. Okay, let's test the mechanism. Good, and it'll work even better when the panel is adhered to the card base. Now we can adhere the lower edge of the giraffe's neck to the lower edge of the cellophane. As before, let's start with a small strip of tape. Next I'm going to draw a mark so I know where I can place the foam tape on the front of the panel. I already added it to the back of my panel off camera. Here I'm pulling the tab as far as I can and now I'm going to add a little piece of cardstock to the back of our pull tab to act as a stop so that it can't be pulled any further. Even though I already added strips of foam tape to the edges of the panel, I have enough room to adhere this one and a half inch wide strip to the pull tab. We can now peel off the release paper from the corners of our panel to adhere it to the card base. You've seen me do it a bunch of times. To shorten this video, I edited out the part where I added the foam tape to the front of the panel. While I was doing this, I noticed that I needed to add more tape to the back of the neck, which is what's going on here. Okay, now we just need to adhere the treetop greenery and embellish the card and we're done. I'm only adding some die-cut leaves and heart-shaped enamel dots, which are revealed when the pull tab is pulled. Let's check it out in action one more time. Isn't that the cutest? That's it for today's card. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all the necessary information. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Hasta la próxima.